first of all, let me talk about this energy. The Empress. The Empress basically indicates, you know, taking control of your domain, exerting your influence, exerting your power. And um, I feel like you, you're going to be called upon sometime this month to really stick to what you've been doing and uh, don't let other people persuade you in a specific course of action. You really need to focus on what your ideas are, okay, and defending your ideas, uh, even in the face of opposition. I feel that you're going to be pulled in multiple directions with this card. So this is a really important card that signifies that whatever you have um, at your disposal, whatever ideas you've come up with, whatever you really strongly believe in, don't fold, don't, um, you know, acquiesce to other people who are pushing you. And especially if they are experts in their field, if they are people that are, you know, very knowledgeable, have a good reputation overall. I feel that it's really important to, on the one hand, listen to them, but on the other hand, form your own opinions, okay? So everything is very internal, and this is pretty much telling you that you have enough experience under your belt to form your own opinions without succumbing or without, um, you know, uh, fluctuating back and forth between what other people want from you versus what you want to carry out in projects, what you want to carry out within yourself. So... It's just something to be very careful about for this month, okay? Um, you're on top of the game. You have a lot of skills, a lot of expertise, and people will be coming to you to um, demand, you know, like, um, to demand, you know, um, either inputs from you or to persuade you to invest in them or to persuade you in a certain, to, to dabble in a certain venture that they're involved with. So you're sitting pretty with the offers coming to you. So it looks very good overall. Just don't get too easily swayed either way. Okay. This is a card about uh, people who are especially employed in the beauty industry. Okay. Fashion, beauty, even communication as it relates to fashion in the beauty industry. So for those of you who are working in, in those sectors, I feel that you're going to be hot commodity. I feel that you're going to be in very high demand. And there's a lot of work, a lot of... um I feel like advertisements, a lot of, um, a lot of ideas that you're churning out, you're also stamping your name to these products that you feel are being marketed. Okay. So just make sure you pick and choose very carefully so that it doesn't hurt your reputation. Okay. So I feel you're stamping your name or you're backing a specific product, either for beauty or for fashion. And even for like, you know, music recreation too, but that's very minor. And I feel like the majority of it's going to be beauty and fashion. Make sure that your stamp of approval is for legitimate products. Okay. Don't be swayed into doing something that you feel is not, um, 100% kosher, 100% legitimate. Okay. Um, the other areas that are coming through here is, um, I feel for some of you, you're thinking about long term about purchasing property, settling down in a specific location where you can, you know, stay for a couple of years. So I feel a lot of you, you know, you, you love to travel, but at the same time, I feel that emotionally it might have taken its toll on you. Okay. On the one hand, travel is great. It's exciting. It brings about new friendships and new alliances, but I feel that the life uh, tends to feel a little bit lonely, okay? And as a result of it, uh, for those who have been, you know, globetrotting and traveling, um, even within, you know, the, the, the country that you're in, um, relationships might have been put on the back burner. And this is the month in which you start to realize that you want to cultivate more, something a little bit more stable. You want to cultivate, you know, meaningful relationships as well and, and love relationships. And you feel as if your work might, um, you know, interfere with that process. And so I feel a lot of you are heavily thinking about purchasing property that you might physically live in or you might put up for investment. And I feel some of you want to stay put for the next, you know, two or three years so that you can cultivate these relationships. OK, you can cultivate, you know, new relationships and, and especially seek more romantic partnerships. Um, if you are involved here with the water sign, so this is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, I feel overall this is somebody you have very strong um, attraction, uh, attraction to. And I also feel this is somebody that you don't have a lot in common with. So I feel like it's an opposites attract type of energy, okay? It's very exciting. It's very thrilling. 
and there's really, really intense romance and chemistry. Um, but it's kind of difficult to figure out, you know, how, which direction things are headed and whether or not this is somebody that, uh, you see being in your life, whether or not your paths will coincide with each other in the long run. So I feel like on the one hand, there's a lot of love. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of support. There's a lot of like uh, mutual agreement between you and this person. It's almost like despite the differences in the ways that you, you live your life and the way you both operate, I feel that, you know, communication, seeing eye to eye is not really the problem. You do see eye to eye and you really, you know, admire this person for their ability to be, uh, to, to like hold up their end of the bargain. And they likewise believe uh, that you can, you know, hold up your end of the bargain too, but your path might be starting to diverge because of some bigger plans that you have for yourself. Okay. So I do feel that this is, um, the relationship sector might be the, the major, major theme coming through for the month of May. Um, I'm sensing that many of you are, um, either you have either moved into a home, you're making your home into you're making your house into a home so either decorating designing um i'm seeing a lot of people doing interior design and so you have projects left and right you're in high demand people are you know reaching out to you from possibly vast distances for you to um, give them advice and give them input so your financial situation for this uh, month i feel that it's really important to keep um the balance in check okay i see a lot of frivolous spending actually i feel like um last month things were really good you had a lot of uh, projects you had a lot of collaborators this might be the month where you need to curb your spending a little bit because i see you bouncing around a lot making purchases that might be considered impulsive making purchases that might be like very frivolous okay so you know like uh emotional spending like feeling stressed out feeling you know like um you're inundated with a lot of work and you feel like you want to reward yourself just be very careful about spending overall okay um child support issues um child rearing child support issues as well as some type of uh, legality surrounding you know uh, whether or not you you have enough money to uh, afford counsel i do see this card overall indicates like uh, legal issues okay legal issues as to you know things that you might have done in the past that are coming back so for those of you who might have um had a few i i, I want to say like um under the table deals or things regarding your financial situation that's going to be coming up for re-examination through an official body okay so you might get um summons for you know jury duty for court cases to be a witness or to even you know um submit additional documents in order to satisfy the requirements for this court case so i do see that element coming through for you and i do feel like um workers compensation for some of you um some some things here that that looks to me like it's from the past and it's coming back for re-examination for this month something that you know a few years ago it, it was it was considered like um, water under the bridge, but I feel like it's being brought up. And um, just know that you have the fortitude and, you know, the strength to get through this. So don't blow it out of proportion. Don't dwell too much on it. Whatever, um, whatever information they need from you. And I feel like a lot of you might have be in a position where you need to make a lot of copies of, you know, uh, official documents, make a lot of copies, submit all everything in your dossier to an authority figure to like a an institution so make copies of everything making sure that you do it in a timely manner don't um a lot of the times too you know when it's something that you've considered very tedious you don't really want to do it and you might avoid it avoid avoid and so my uh suggestion here is do not procrastinate on anything okay if there is a court situation that you need to submit a lot of documents for like making papers or filling forms out don't procrastinate on it because I feel like it might not be in your best favor to do it for this month, okay? Aside from that, this is your energy here. And um, excuse me, I have a little bit of a runny nose, so I apologize. This is your energy as the King of Swords, okay? And the King of Swords is a situation where 
we feel almost as if we're not able to communicate adequately. We feel almost as if people are overlooking what we have to say. And um, this is a very important card because it's basically telling me in this combination here, you are in a position of power and authority. You have a lot of control and sway over your environment and affecting, you know, specific outcomes, persuading people to your point of view. And so the, the important thing here is to present information and to present your argument in a very self-assured way. Okay. So when you have like a specific idea that you want to bring forth, if you are in a position where you need to sell yourself to a specific financier, to a specific boss, to a, an authority figure, um, to somebody in your work environment that can, you know, give you opportunities to expand, okay, for opportunities for pay increases, for raises, etc. Um, present all your achievements in a very straightforward, in a very methodical way, okay? Don't segue, don't go off on tangents, don't meander. Because um, a lot of the times, Geminis, I feel like you you want to communicate uh, very thoroughly. So you might have a habit of like over explaining situations. And when you over explain without, you know, the other person, the other side soliciting the information from you, it makes them seem it, it make them think that you have something that you want to skirt over. OK, so present data, present information, present your side of the story in a very cogent, coherent and especially in a very honest way. OK. So I feel like that's going to be in, uh, to your, your benefit if you can, you know, present an idea in a very concise way. If they ask follow up question, then yes, you can elaborate. But, you know, I feel that elaborating from the get go might not be in your best interest. OK, so I feel for some of you, um, you might be dealing with some people in the work environment. And I feel like, you know, bosses, uh, people that you you. Uh, want to impress or people that are that already see you as someone who's quite competent okay so you don't you can let your experience speak for themselves without having to you know go out of your way to impress anybody but at the same time communicate in a way that allows them to see you know communicate in a way that allows them to see more of this emotional side rather than the rational side so in um, communicating more from the heart and especially um learning what's really important to present first, that's going to be really important for you. Um, I'm also feeling like this, and this is going to apply to a very small minority of you, okay? It's really important for us to play nice this month. And, you know, once again, this message is going to apply for a very small minority. I feel that some of you are in a position, are in a position where you are starting out, okay? So you've started at a new position. And, um, I feel like there, you, you might feel like there is a lot of unfairness coming through, especially from like a female boss. Okay. So you feel like, oh, this person is not being fair to you. This person is, uh, picking you out for, you know, a specific, um, for a specific, like, um, procedural error or some type of, for some reason, they're just, um, there might be, you know, you might be working at odds with them. So if that's the case, here's the thing. I feel that you might not know the whole story, okay? And so if you're just starting out and you have somebody that is kind of like hovering over you, telling you you should do this, you should do that. If you're just starting out and you feel like, um, why are they, you know, so um, critical of me? The, the thing here is that they've been in their field for many, many years, right? They, they're in a position of power and status. And so it's really important for you to also, you know, uh, be very, very humble and, and to realize that maybe there, there are things that I don't know completely. So maybe the advice that they're giving you, I feel like they're trying to help you. Okay. And at the same time, you need this job. You need it for survival. You need it for the basic necessities. You also want to maintain a very harmonious environment within the work pl uh, place as well. And so whatever this person is telling you, maybe there's some merit to it. Maybe there's some truth to it, especially if you have a female authority figure that you feel for whatever reason, 
um, you know, like, like curb your tongue is, is what I'm feeling. Okay. Be very careful about, um, not taking this situation personally. Just don't take it personally. Okay. Think about, okay, so what do I need to learn from this and how can I improve? Okay. And so I feel like somebody is trying to help you and you might be a little bit sensitive or defensive and you might want, not want to take on, um, whatever it is that they're advising. So overall, here's the thing. Things are going to be busy this month, okay? And if we're going to spend the time to really argue with another person, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to detract you from doing your job. It's going to upset you emotionally. And so the, the thing here is think about what you can do to harmonize the work environment. Think about what you can do to make things easier for everybody involved, okay? It might require making the harder decision. And I feel, honestly, you're going to come to the point where you're not going to take things personally and you're going to uh, do make the decision that is in the interest of the the greater good, okay? So it's all about you harmonizing, trying to harmonize the environment so that you have a good work environment where you can begin to thrive and you don't have to worry about your job security, okay?